Capato is a complete end-to-end -end DevOps solution, encompassing everything from planning to building, testing, and deploying your Salesforce changes. When first getting started, you set up your company's pipeline, determining which orgs will feed into one another as changes make their way up to production. In this example here, I have a handful of developer sandboxes deploying changes up into an integration sandbox, then to UAT, and ultimately production. In Capato's managed package, there's a custom object called the user story, which is a metadata container used to organize and release changes upstream. Before a user story can be deployed from org to org, Capato enforces that conflicts have been resolved and all proper testing has taken place in order to ensure only the highest quality releases. Additionally, all necessary version control operations will be automated in the background as you perform your actions in the Capato UI. The user story first instructs your developer or admin regarding what it is that needs to be built. These stories can be created natively within Capato, or our integration allows them to be easily pushed over from agile applications like Jira and Rally. Your team members then fill in this field here, the organization that they plan to make their changes in. After the changes have been completed in their source org, the user story record can now be used to commit those changes, linking them to this user story in order to test for quality and detect any conflicts. I'd begin by clicking the commit changes button towards the top right of my screen, which will bring up a metadata grid displaying all of the metadata from the dev one environment that I specified. I can then use these filters here and text boxes to quickly and easily locate my changes. After everything I need has been selected, I'll click on the commit changes button in the top right here to link these selected changes to my user story. This will automate the necessary Git operations in the background, as well as log several records in Salesforce against the user story. This way I have full visibility in tracking. So coming back to the user story now, if I click on the commits sub tab, I can access a record of the commits that have taken place on the user story as well as the metadata beneath here that's been committed. The next sub tab, quality gates, will display all of the testing results that are run against this user story and its contents. Tests can be easily triggered from the dropdown that's in the top right, such as Apex tests, Selenium tests, and static code analysis, just to name a few. Now each company can customize which tests are to be enforced before a user story can be deployed upstream. Moving one sub tab over to conflict resolution, I can leverage what we refer to as overlap awareness to determine if I'm working on any of the same metadata as my team members. Here, I can see that a few of the pieces of metadata have a status of potential conflict, indicating that I'm not the only one working on them. And as I click in to one of these pieces of metadata, here this Apex class, I can see the other user stories that potentially conflict, as well as who is working on them. I can even run a pull request to compare our versions of the code so that we can begin to work collaboratively and resolve any conflicts early on in the process. Now, after this user story has been tested, there are no conflicts, and it's passed the necessary approvals, it's ready to be deployed. And one of the ways that you can deploy using Capato is through the pipeline manager. Here, we get a view of all the orgs in our pipeline, as well as an indication if any of them have user stories that are ready to be deployed upstream. So looking at dev one, I can see that the org is nine user stories ahead. And if I click on the forward arrow, I can choose to cherry pick certain stories that I'd like to deploy. Or I could very simply just select all. And then I can use this promote and deploy button in the top right, which will instantly deploy them up to the integration environment. 
as well as trigger the appropriate Git merges. I would then be able to take those stories that I presumably deployed up to integration, along with any other stories that were developed by my coworkers, and release them up into UAT and ultimately production using these arrows here. Or you can leverage Capato's continuous integration to automate these deployments. It's also critically important to make sure that all of your orgs are in sync with one another. So the backwards arrows here are used to deploy stories that an org is missing back to them so that you have the latest changes. So for example, looking at Dev4, there are a total of 19 user stories that were developed by coworkers that have not been incorporated into this sandbox. Similarly, clicking on that backward facing arrow presents me with all of the user stories that this org is behind on. And in just a single click, I can back deploy all of the latest changes. <laughs>